All right, so sometimes mishaps can happen in the sewing room. Occasionally, you put down a piece of fusible interfacing or stabilizer, bring down your iron, pull it back up, and the stabilizer is not stuck to your project, it's stuck to your iron. Well, you peel that off, and then what's left over is residue on the iron. It's the burnt glue that should have fused to your project. Other scummy stuff can, that can get on your iron are fabrics. If you melt them, there can be buildup from any spray starches or spray glues you use. Uh, your iron should be cleaned regularly so that you don't get residue from your iron on your new projects that you're doing. You wouldn't want to be doing that bright white, you know, christening garment or something like that and go to do your final pressing and then bam, there's a huge brown iron mark on it. So, always a good idea to take those precautionary steps. So I'm gonna use this product called um, Iron Off Hot Iron Cleaner. I really enjoy it, and when you put it on the iron, it smells like summer, so that's kinda nice. There are directions on the back of the tube, but watching this video is so much more fun. So what it says to do is to empty water from your iron, and I'm gonna set the iron at a very hot setting, so it's gonna burn away the residue with the help of the iron cleaner. I'm going to squeeze on some iron cleaner onto a towel, like this, there it is, and then bring it to my iron and scrub. Make sure you've got enough cloth between yourself and the iron to get at those scummy spots. Do make sure that there is enough of a buffer between your skin, your fingers, and the iron, okay? We all know that sewing can be dangerous. All right, you can even lay your towel down and press down with your iron, okay? All right. And you may need to repeat this process in order to get your iron completely clean. A good test is running it across your ironing board, and if it's not sticking, then you've probably got most of the glue off. Your iron may remain a little discolored. That happens as irons get used, but most of the time, if you really have tested your iron on a piece of cloth, you should be okay.